Hello, 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 friends. It's, it's been a while since I brought you back to Connor's Key. Um, I've been busy working on my editor database and plugging away at college. I've I've half forgotten how the season has gone so far. So I'm I'm going to walk myself through it and walk you through it. One thing I haven't forgotten is the heartbreak of Spartak Moscow. Um, if you haven't seen that the last episode, just it's this broke <laughs> broke my heart. But you know what? Since then, the Welsh league has treated us very kindly. One all draw at the very beginning to Barry Town. They just do that. But then 3 1, 2 0, 3 2, 4. Sorry, 3 1, 4 1. We've got a goal scoring feat going. Um, what's his name? Henry Timmy Davis has scored 2 and 5. And Bograin is picking up for the injured Griffith. Griffith is by far our best player. And even like we go into squad, um, his shots on target versus shots ratio is incredible. Um, 17 shots, 10 on target, 7 goals. That conversion rate is incredible. And again, he's 16 years... Sorry, oh, he's 70. Okay, he's a big boy now. I can stop pretending that this is impressive. And he's 17 years of age. And these stats, like it's... He's going to get poached eventually. It's going to be a sad... When he goes, I go. Let's, okay, there, There is the plan. When Griffith goes, I find a new club. Because he is the project to cut his key at the moment. But yeah, Bograin is doing quite well. Um, Where are you? Here we go, yeah. So it's uh, half of his shots are on target and of those 15 that are on target he scored 10. I'm um, getting a good return out of him. So once we get him and Griffith leading that line because what we're running with is we're running with two advanced forwards with a wide player in can because his pace I want to get him kind of like into those wide channels overlapping putting in crosses as well as we can but mainly utilizing that dribbling and that flair that's where I want him and he's proven quite lethal in terms of just disrupting the opposition using that pace he's got good bravery so I like that but just that flair because you can even see here 7.45 rating he's got three assists he needs to score goals that's really where he's letting himself down but that's why I have him in that attack position hopefully he can get in on that line but Begrain is absolutely sweeping up his chances. Once I get Griffith back, this is going to be a lethal front three. Um, if you go back into squad view, Kapak, incredible. Um, where are we? Let's just go to stats, competition, overall. There we go. And sort by advanced rating. Kapak has been putting in a 7.6 rating. Uh, Griffith, even though he's only played five games, has been by far our best player, 7.82. Um, Pack and Fielson, between the two of them, have been keeping the defence nice and solid. And our new boy in goal, um, Dave Richards, yes. For a moment there, I thought that was a different guy. He's proving really effectively. Conceded four, he's got one clean sheet, but he's only conceded in like one, one a game, which is I'm very happy with because I don't want to be conceding two, three goals. Because then I'm relying way too much on that forward, um, Begrain or Gif Griffith, to like win us matches when in reality what i want to be doing is i want to be generating a cold goal difference so that should we get the opportunity we can contest against the new saints because five games in they have an eight goal goal difference we have nine so there's a good there's a good early opposition chance but two points between us we drew one game they didn't they won all five of their games so there's a very early chance for us here because the match we have to play is against the new saints now we're away ironically we tend to perform better against them away at the end of last season we did beat them um where was it here we go in that run at the very end after a two all draw against Abbott town we beat the new saints that was quite good that was at home actually um they beat us away um they beat us away maybe i've inverted this in my mind we tend to play well at home against them no, beat us at home too. Maybe I'm thinking of the season before. You know, it's irrelevant. We're going to play them now. And here's the squad that I've decided to go forward with it. Going to have Richards in goal. Field, um, Fieldson and Kappa. Alex at the back. Tuberfield playing that right-hand role. He's doing quite well right there. But Godin, um, I typically like, where is he? Matthew Blake is my first choice on that left-hand side because he bombs up and down that wing, which is what I want him to because I'm not playing with left-sided midfielder at the moment. I've got Burnett. Um, or kind of, where is he? Reynolds can slot in that role. Jamie Allen does quite well in that role. Um, the board are actually unhappy with his wages. He's on 350 a week, which isn't terrible, but he was playing championship football not too long ago. He's a good player. I'm happy at him at the club. But yeah, Burnett, I 
Sometimes I play as a Mazala support role, but I find that it just kind of, for the level of football of the players we have, I don't have good enough players to get the most out of the technical role that uh, the technical ability of the role demands. But a centre midfield attack does really well. Gareth playing a midfield role and Ewing, uh, or Ewing, Ewing, I don't know how to pronounce that. Box to box midfielder just running up and down that channel, linking between Tuberfield and Can and Gareth providing a linchpin should Ewing run out of steam or just turn over possession. And Golden just running off that left hand side to Timmy Davis. Six foot two, yeah, six foot two Nigerian. Two goals, four goals and seven appearances so far. I give us a decent chance. I, I really do give us a decent chance. We're playing quite well at the moment. Like I said, Grain, 10 goals, Damus, four. Few goals in midfield. And Kapak has scored two as well. We we could probably do with having more goals from midfield just to kind of get a bit more diversity and provide kind of like different attacking avenues. Because right now, if somebody man marks Bugrain out of a game, we've got no scoring potential. And like I was saying earlier, I want to get Khan to just have more attacking outlets so that we can use him in offensive roles. So we're going to we're going to sim forward the three days and I'll come back to you on the match. Oh, the day before the game. It's so tempting. It is so tempting. Griffith just came back. He's into full-time training. He's out for five weeks. I might I might give him like 45 minutes. We'll see what the physios think. But um, like if I can have him up front against TNS, that it would be immense himself and McGrain leading that line. It would like really give our chances an incredible boost. We've been given a massive boost. Griffith has been given the all-clear to play. So we have 17 goals up on that front line between the two of them. Incredible, incredible partnership. Hopefully they can do a job for us. And if one of them isn't playing well, we've got Timmy Davis who can come on and do a job for ourselves. And if we need a bit of trickery, we've got Walsh Miller. All five foot, is he five foot three or five foot one? Five foot, all five foot one of him. God, reminds me of that, um, that Argentinian player. What was his name? Villa, Villa La Barra or something like that. I used to, I used to love signing him because he was so small. Um, if I'd ever play as like a Villarreal side, I thought he'd, he'd always do a job for us up front. Get some like lanky six foot nine person and just head the ball down to him. He was so agile. He'd just run around the place. But yeah, let's move on. Submit team. Griffith, we're going to give you a start. We're, we're taking the risk. But hell, if you're going to take risks, do it in a game like this. Top of the table clash. See if we can get one over the Saints right and early into the season. So let's kick off. Oh, I've no reason to be nervous. No reason to be nervous yet. Okay, let's just double check, make sure everything's set up correctly. TV, key highlights, yep. Okay. Okay, let's go. Not a good start already. Oh, that, oh beautifully taken away in Manus. Oh. Wild shot from outside the box. Does not quite connect with it properly and it goes sailing over the bar. Ben Druids take the lead against Barry Town in the other game. Barry third position, so we could do it. Extending that lead. We've got a five-point gap over them at the moment. Cementing our second place so we can have a genuine title challenge. A draw wouldn't be a terrible result for us, but ideally we'd want to perform the better and actually get... We can capitalise upon this XG difference. In saying that, uh, TNS took a good uh, XG difference. We have the better. It's Golden on the left-hand side. Brings over to Gareth. Gareth Allen. Can he make something out of this? Is Ewing. Over to Can. Can onto that right-hand side for Tuberfield. Can you cross in? Can Ethan get on the end of this? No. Gareth. Golden gets onto the end of it. Fields and brings it forward to Griffith. Griffith on for Bugrain. Bugrain. Yes. 1-0. Griffith getting an assist right off the bat, proving how vital he is to this team. Just sets it up beautifully for, for Bulgarian to get his 11th of the season. Fieldson just popping that ball over. Now, there's a lot of yellow cards in this in this team so far. Three yellow cards. We're going in here. Everyone, stay on your feet, boys. Be very careful from here on out. Red cards are a killer at this level. Okay. So we go into half time with a good lead. We've got the XG difference. That goal proving pivotal in the end. We've got the same number of targets, but we're proving that like we're more conservative with our shooting, but we seem to be holding the ball a little bit better. Holding back in possession, but our pass com no matter how I say this, I'm, I'm wrong. <laughs> they have better pass completion, they have better possession. We have more fouls committed. I guess that's where we get the yellow cards coming from. They have three as well. Two corners. You know what? We're just we're just our shooting is more accurate. It's the best way I can put it. Over to that dressing room. 
we're making hard. The rivalry is an absolute scintillating factor in this game as we are top of the table at the moment by a solitary point. Can we capitalize this as Boynes on that left hand side brings it over? You and over to Tubberfield, Tubberfield out, and we're working the way through as Griffith passes on to Can Can as acres of space as he goes one on one with the keeper. Oh, Matov is able to belt it over the bar as we now have a corner. Can we bring it into that near post? Near post corner routine? Nah. Can is not able to get on the end of it as Kapue cleans up. I feel like my corner routine is badly set up right now because Kapue, why was he, why was he outside the box? Ah, oh. okay, let's put pressure on them. They've got that outside and playing with an overlap. It seems but Can is putting pressure. Hmm. No real way through, although they're... Oh no, over the top. Can Richards getting on the end of that and just controlling his box as he brings it forward. Over the top, can't can get on the end of it. Oh, he's down, the, down that flank. Cooper just taking it on, opening it up for a cross if he can get it in. And Tubber has just got himself sent off. Oh, 60 minutes on the clock. What do we do, boys? What do we do? Hmm... Figure out what we do from here. Khan is not playing well, so we're going to take you off. Griffith's back here. We're going to play you as a deep lying attack. Ewing, take off, move into channels. And I guess we bring on keepings. Although it's, I, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Ease off tackles. Ease off tackles. Oh, I'm not happy with this at all. Take fewer other passing risks, don't matter. Hmm. Um. Confirm changes. Bloody red cards. Okay, well, they didn't seem to get anything out of that free kick, so that's good for us. It's Griffith still with that yellow card. And you know what? Actually, because Griffith is just back from injury, I'm not going to risk him. We're going to put Timmy Davis up front. Griffith, and we're going to play him as a target man attack, Bagrain as a poacher. Let's see if we can get some some love out of this all the way forward. Extremely high tempo. And we can bring the attacking one a bit narrow because we're basically just hoofing it up to the tall man up front. Confirm. Okay. It's Golden's having a 6.3. Let's see if we can see if we can do something about that, actually. Have I got Blake? I've got Matthew Blake here. Let's take you on. And you can have a support role. Okay. There's Blake on that left hand side. Gareth over to Alan. Alan back to Blake. Trying to make something, carve something in that that midfield. As bring forward for Timmy Tavis. Timmy I he has to be off. Second yellow cards, and we equalize now. we both have ten men on the field, but we have a promising position that nothing came of. And Blake crosses in. Timmy Davis brings it and makes it 2-0. Six foot two Nigerian just towers over everybody else in the box and just heads it home into that near post. TNS on home turf, not really looking up to the challenge right now, I have to admit. And just Timmy Davis rises above his opposition and just powers home. Powerful header. As we have a 2 0 lead and a one goal lead. It Oh, Cooper, bring it in. Nope, it's away. And Ewing bringing it forward. And we got Bugrain. Oh, we have an overlap here. As Ewing doesn't make the most of it. He can't do anything with it. We had a chance for a goal there. Blake going to get on the end of this? No. Ross Crow. I'd love to hold them to... Oh, and Ewing, Timmy Davis. Now, can we make something with this? Bograin is away. Bograin is the opportunity, but he's gotten wrong side of the goalkeeper. He gets his shot away, but it's off the target, unfortunately. Richards. Now, four minutes of extra time. Can we just see this one out? Back to Richards. Fieldson. Allen. Keeping. Now, is he going to go long? Timmy Davis. Just go on. Out to keepings. Now, you're going to do a cross. No. Ewing. Just holding on that left hand side, that right hand side. But great. Ah, doesn't make the most of his keepings. Brings it down. Back to Garrett. Timmy Davis. Oh, doesn't quite have the curl on it to take it inside. But it looks like this is how it's going to finish. 2 0. A huge victory away from home with the. I think they won the last three championships. So this is a big, big, huge result for us. Because if we can just keep this pressure on, if we can hold them behind us for more extended periods of the season, just keep stringing victories together. If we can build up any, any sort of a um, 
kind of like a gap at the top of the table. If the, if the new Saints just, if they slip up in any way, we have a massive opportunity to just extend a difference, uh, to build a lead at the top of the table because they don't slip up. They are by far the best team in this division. But by God, if Connor's key, we have an opportunity to try win, win the Welsh League. And, you know, maybe I can go out on a high. Maybe I can go look for a new job after turning them into something that Wales can be proud of. Friends, I didn't really know what I was doing in this episode because, like I said, it's been so long. But, you know, I'm coming back to winning ways. We're top of the league, six game played, 11, 11 goal difference. We brought their goal difference down. I'm quite happy with that. And now we're just going to fire on and I'm going to keep going with the league. See what we can get. I have... I'm going to go through that third round. I, I'll probably get to the Welsh Cup third round. This is where I'll come back to you. Might even come back for the, the return leg of the New Saints and just see if we have a gap or if they've uh, just gained on us and overtaken us. But either way, you'll come back to something exciting. My friends, catch you in the next one.